piston, the LCS is at the middle of these two holes. The top part of the connecting wall. One LCS is at the middle of this wing and two more LCS at the holes. They are for inserting screws. The bottom part of the connecting rod. Two LCS for inserting nuts. For the pin, the LCS is at the center. In the previous example, we just do the assembling and has no animation. In this example, we will create a sketch, which is the mechanism of the motion. First, create a sketch in the assembly. Reference to the LCS origin and signet pin phase. The crane saw print is 35 mm from the center. The connecting board is 160 mm center to center. For the line representing the piston, the length doesn't really matter as we only need the lower point for the LCS. A new variable. Then apply variables to the sketch to rotate the crankshaft. Variables B angle. Then run the animation to test the mechanism. Then we'll create LCS at the sketch. Select the sketch, new LCS. The first one is for the crankshaft. Select the 9 and then C tangent to edge. Change around X axis to minus 90 degree. Then the Z axis will be at the same direction as the crankshaft. The middle line is for the connecting rock. Select the sketch. New LCS. Select the line. C tangent to edge. Select the vertex at the top. The last one is for the piston. Select the sketch, new LCS. Select the line, C tangent to edge. The position is good. Then insert parts. Insert piston. Select parent assembly, piston center, rotate around right by 90 degrees. Then insert the pin, parent assembly, piston center, pin hyphen C. 
rotate x by 90 degrees insert the top part of the connecting wall parent assembly CR CR top at this side Insert the bottom part of the connecting wall. Select the connecting wall top. Select the hole number one. Match the hole number one at the bottom. Rotate Y by 180 degrees. Adjust it along the C axis. Select the vertical axis to insert screw. Insert screw. M6 is the correct size. Adjust length to 32 mm. Insert screws for the other side. Adjust length to 32 mm. Select the vertical axis at the bottom to insert LUT. Same for this side. The parts are attached to the skeleton and we can try to run the animation. Open another file for the crankshaft. There is a default LCS at the origin. Now we need to create a new assembly file to insert this sub-assembly and the crankshaft. Insert the boxer engine assembly. The origin of the sketch is the default LCS origin. So select parent assembly, LCS origin. Match it to the LCS origin of the sketch. Then insert the crankshaft. This crankshaft will be attached to the skeleton sketch of the boxer engine. Boxer engine. Crank. And then LCS origin. Adjust C to position the piston. Try the animation and it is good. Insert the other piston. Boxer engine assembly. Insert. Parent assembly. LCS origin at both sides. Rotate around C by 180 degrees. Adjust it along the Z axis.
on the animation. So now we have inserted an assembly and a shop to another assembly. The variable is from the first assembly, so we won't have the DAG error message. Save the file. Show the report panel and save it to check whether it is OK or not. Open the report panel. Open all the files again. There's no DAG error message. Cine assembly hyphen BG. Wonder animation. However, we have the synaptic variable from the boxer engine assembly. The animation is working fine. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe and give it a like. Thank you for watching.